Sam sells bread at a farmer's market for $5 per loaf. It costs $150 to rent a table for one day at the farmer's market, and each loaf of bread costs $2 to produce. In part A, we'll write two functions, R of N and C of N, to represent Sam's revenue and costs. Graph each function. We can represent Sam's revenue with a linear function. If n loaves of bread are sold for $5 each, the revenue function is r of n equals 5n. Draw the revenue graph. If each loaf of bread costs $2 to produce, and the cost of renting the table is $150, the cost function is c of n equals 2n plus 150. Draw the cost graph. In part B, how many loaves of bread does Sam need to sell in order to make a profit? Sam will make a profit when revenue exceeds costs. When the green line is above the red line, Sam can cover all of his expenses with money left over. The number of loaves Sam must sell to break even can be determined by finding the point of intersection for R of n and C of n. Begin by setting the revenue function equal to the cost function. This gives us the equation 5n equals 2n plus 150. Subtract 2n from each side of the equation to get 3n equals 150. Divide both sides by 3 to get n equals 50. Sam needs to sell 50 loaves of bread to break even. In part C, the farmer's market raises the cost of renting a table by $50 per day. Use a transformation to find the new cost function, C2 of n. If the cost of renting a table goes up by $50 per day, this is going to vertically translate the cost graph, C of n equals 2n plus 150, 50 units upwards. The new cost function is the original cost function plus 50. Replace C of n with 2n plus 150. Simplify to get the transformed cost function, C2 of n equals 2n plus 200. Now we'll move on to part D. In order to compensate for the increase in rental costs, Sam will increase the price of a loaf of bread by 20%. Use a transformation to find the new revenue function, R2 of n. Before we can determine the transformation equation, we need to find the decimal equivalent of a 20% increase. Recall that when you are dealing with increasing percents, their decimal equivalent must be added to 1. If the cost of a loaf of bread goes up 20%, add 0 0.20 to 1 to get 1.20 as a decimal equivalent. We can find the new revenue function by applying a vertical stretch of 1.2 to the original revenue function, r of n equals 5n. Replace r of n with 5n. The new revenue function is r2 of n equals 6n.
In part E, we'll draw the transformed functions from part C and D. How many loaves of bread does Sam need to sell now in order to break even? In part C, we found the new cost function, C2 of n equals 2n plus 200. This is a vertical translation 50 units up from the original graph. The animation shows the cost graph being vertically translated 50 units up. In part D, we found the new revenue function, R2 of n equals 6n. The new graph is obtained by vertically stretching the original graph by a factor of 1.2. The animation shows the revenue graph being vertically stretched by a factor of 1.2. We can find the new point of intersection by setting R2 of n equal to C2 of n. The transformed revenue function is 6n, and the transformed cost function is 2n plus 200. Subtract 2n from both sides to get 4n equals 200. Divide both sides of the equation by 4 to get n equals 50. Sam will need to sell 50 loaves of bread to break even. This is the same number of loaves he originally had to sell. It's important to note that even though Sam still needs to sell the same number of loaves to break even, he is now charging $6 per loaf instead of $5 per loaf. This means it will be more difficult to actually sell 50 loaves of bread.